Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to 16. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this. Or sorry, I'm actually going to take the power of 3 over 2 on both sides. And the reason I did this was because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And we want to find a value that when multiplied by 2 over 3 is equal to 1 because we obviously just want to find the value of x, and x is the same thing as x to the power of 1. So we want to make this 2 over 3 into a 1, and to do that, we need to multiply it with another number to make it 1. So that's why I multiplied with 3 over 2, because if you multiply 2 over 3, 3 over 2, these two are reciprocals, so they make 1. So now, because if I have something in form a to the power of n to the power of n is equal to the power of n times n, x to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 3 over 2, that's x to the power of 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, which is simply 1. And this is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 2. So I have x equals 16 to the power of 3 over 2, and we actually have to simplify this a little bit. So 16 to the power of 3 over 2, well, 16 is the same thing as 4 squared. So now I have 4 squared to the power of 3 over 2. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of n times n. So this is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 3 over 2. Now these 2s can simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 4 to the power of 3. Now 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So now I have x is equal to 2 squared to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3, or sorry, 2 times 3. Is 6 so I have x is equal to 2 to the power of 6 and this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 squared right 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so now I have 8 squared which is equal to 64 so x is equal to 64 and that is my answer All right, so in this problem, I have x plus 100 squared is equal to 2x plus 199. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 199 here as 200 minus 1. So now I have x plus 100 squared is equal to 2x plus 200 minus 1. Now from here, I can factor out 2 from 2x plus 200. So now I have 2 times x plus 100 minus 1. Now I'm going to let the variable a equal x plus 100. So now if I substitute in a for x plus 100, well, we have x plus 100 over here and x plus 100 over here. So now I have a squared, I'm simply just substituting in a for x plus 100, is equal to 2 times a minus 1. And this is the same thing as a squared is equal to 2a minus 1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2a and add 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and now I'll be left with a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now a squared minus 2a plus 1, that's the same thing as a minus 1 squared. So this is equal to 0. And now if I take the square root on both sides, Square root of a minus 1 squared, that's simply a minus 1, and the square root of 0 is 0. So I have a minus 1 is equal to 0, and if I add 1 on both sides, I get a is equal to 1. 
Now remember how we set a equal to x plus 100. So this means that 1 is equal to x plus 100. And x is equal to negative 99. So now to check, if I plug in negative 99 into my original equation, I get negative 99 plus 100 squared is equal to 2 times negative 99 plus 199. So negative 99 plus 100 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So I have 1 is equal to 2 times negative 99, which is negative 198 plus 199. And 199 minus 198 is simply 1. So I get 1 is equal to 1. And because this is correct, my solution is correct. All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to 256 to the power of negative x. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x is equal to the square root of 256 to the power of negative x. So before we do that, actually, I'm going to rewrite 256 to the power of negative x as 1 over 256 to the power of x. So now I can multiply x with 256 to the power of x, and this is equal to 1. Now I'm going to divide both sides by x. So now I have 256 to the power of x is equal to 1 over x. And now I can go ahead and take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have 256 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. Now x and 1 over x, these two cancel out. So now I have 256 is equal to... 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. And 256, that's the same thing as 4 to the power of 4. So I have 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So, in this case, 4 is equal to 1 over x. Now, if I multiply both sides by x, these two cancel out, and I get 4x is equal to 1. Now, if I divide both sides by 4, I get x is equal to 1 over 4. So now to check, I have x is equal to 256 to the power of negative x. And x is equal to 1 fourth, so I have 1 fourth is equal to 256 to the power of negative 1 fourth. And this is the same thing as 1 fourth is equal to 1 over 256 to the power of 1 over 4. Now, 256 to the power of 1 over 4 is 4, so I have 1 fourth is 1 fourth, and this is right. 